By the final day of the climate talks, Copenhagen's Bella Centre had become a battleground, with little pretense remaining of polite diplomacy. In a press conference designed to clash with President Obama's speech, Iranian President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad accused industrial states of demanding much while offering little in return. He suggested the US and others divert part of their huge military spend to addressing environmental ills and said the solution to climate change was nuclear power for all nations. Meanwhile, Venezuela's socialist president Hugo Chavez was in a bullish mood, orchestrating a walkout with allies from across South America. The Latin Americans objected to what they saw as the high-handed approach taken by the super-economies of the US and Europe. They put the blame for climate change on the unfettered consumption of capitalism and accused the industrialised world of turning Mother Nature into a commodity. Chavez and his peers refused to cede the stage, telling UN officials, do what you have to do, bring your police, we are fighters. The Latin American boycott effectively put a nail in the coffin of COP15, as a failure to find common ground that all countries could agree on meant that there could be no official UN agreement.